I just wanted to share this mystery of our Holy Father on the Sphinx. And that we can find it in the Companion Bible, Appendix number 12. And it's all about the stars, the heavens. And so the Sphinx was invented as a memorial. It had the head of a woman and the body and tail of a lion to tell us that this book written in the heavens began with the sign Virgo and will end with the sign Leo. The word spent is from the Greek spenxio, which means to join because it binds together the two ends of the circle of the heavens. So the heavens begin with Leo, with, excuse me, with Virgo and will end with Leo. And the Sphinx is not the head of a man. It's the head of a woman that we just read. So the signs in the heavens is a sign of something or someone to come together, written in Genesis 3.15. And the Sphinx is in Egypt, Giza, which is part of the pyramids. So my question was, who invented, invented the Sphinx? Well, I believe it was here from the first world age. This is my opinion, along with the pyramids. It was here to show us and to tell us that the beginning was in Virgo and the end will be in Leo. I just thought it was really interested, and if we really, you know, start studying, we can find things that are hidden from, from, you know, a lot of people because they think that Sphinx was the head of a man, or it was Pharaoh's head. It wasn't, and it's not. It's the head of a woman. All right, let's keep studying. Love you all. Bye.